What's up everyone? It's Into Thin Air. Um, what I got here is the CME strength. Uh, we just had a CME that came off the sun. Uh, Scott and Claudia over at Nibiru Planet X News uh, have been talking about this a lot. Now this is just a chart showing that it was an M-class flare. Uh, pretty big. It wasn't exactly earth-facing. Uh, we will get some effects from it, but it's not entirely why I have you here today. What I want to show you, well first I'll show you the CME. This is the one that was just shown in that chart. You watch to the right, it's a little better. Looks massive. That's a That thing's no joke. But again, it's not exactly earth facing. It's going to graze us apparently between the 16th and 17th. Pretty cool. Now, that's not why I have you here. Again, what I want to show you is this, is what is about to happen, at least in my opinion, based on what I've seen in the past. Um, uh, this is a good view here. Now, you'll notice uh, the flares on this side for when the CME happens, but what I want to show you happens after that. So, you're going to see this turn around. That's the cameras adjusting. It happens over time. Now, the CME happens over here around now. But I want you to keep an eye right here where my cursor is. This is a filament line. And the reason I'm keeping an eye on is because I believe it's about to release. And it is just turning to earth facing right now. I wish I had more video to show you guys, but this is the uh, most updated version of this. And I'm going to show you next why I think this is about to release. Now look, you can tell it's pretty much a defined line. That's what you want to look for. And there is some movement in there if you watch the cams closer. I'll bring up another view of it. Uh, let's, this one's the, probably the best for now. And again, you'll see the action over here for the CME that everyone's talking about right now, which is going to hit us between the 16th and 17th. But look at this line, how defined it is. Okay? Now, what I believe is going to happen is this is going to begin to bow up, and then it's going to release off the sun. Now. If it releases when it makes it over here, that's going to be directly earth-facing. It's a little above the equator, so it might hit us high, but it will hit us uh, without a doubt, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, now the reason I want to show you why I think this is going to happen is because of something that happened on May 30th. I'll bring you to this cam here. Now, I forget exactly what we were watching here. Actually, no, this is the actual filament. So look, I want you to look at this line here, and watch how it's acting, and then watch when it releases. Okay, keep your eye on it, and then, boom, it takes off off the surface of the sun. Now, that looks a lot like what we're seeing. Take a look at this line. Also, I thought this was crazy. It literally looks like a face manifests out of the sun. This is on May 30th, by the way. Now, just watch closely. There's going to be an eye here, an eye here, the nose, and it looks like a mouth with a mustache blows this filament out towards us. I know it seems crazy, but just watch. Boom. Looks like a face. Looks like a face manifests on the sun and blows that thing right out. Looks like his lips are puckering, right? Alright, anyway, so yeah, this is what I want to show you guys. These are filament lines. And when these get really dense and defined, you can expect them to release off the sun. Now you can see this sticks out more than anything. I mean, here, this is like not so much a defined line but this right here you watch it develop from the beginning of the video it's almost like an electric line it looks like you know it's kinda wobbling wobbling and then it lifts off the surface and then boom it takes off now there's another view of it here this is the cam you want to use when you really want to see these things come off so here it is here now watch the strength of this guy and there it goes. That's big. That was a big one. It even affected the camera. The camera itself shakes because of this. Ready? There it goes. So now I'll take you back to July 14th, and we'll look again. And you tell me if you think this is very this is similar. Look at the definition there after it spins. Look at the definition it's taking up here. Again, CME's on this side right there, and now here's the filament line. That is going to release, guys. And I'm thinking it's going to be in the next day. So we are talking this thing might release right around this area, which will be Earth-facing. Like I said, it's a bit high, but it's there. Now, if any of you guys are in touch with channels like Suspicious Observers and 
people that really, really are good at this stuff, I think this is something they should see because that this is a type of a warning, I want to say. Um, again, I'm, I'm fairly new at this sun stuff. I'm just going by, you know, research and watching other good channels. But I think this is something to keep an eye on. Absolutely. Like I said, this is where the camera ends, so in a couple hours we'll have more footage of it. But this thing just looks like it's about to release. It's got a lot of action going on. And one more time, we'll look at this one. Start it from the beginning again. I mean, just watch it. Watch it get more defined. It gets thinner, more dense, and that's what you that's what you expect to see before it's about to release off the sun. This thing is definitely showing movement. I think this entire piece here, and possibly even up in this area, we're going to see release just like we saw the May 30th one. Sorry about that. Look at this. And there it goes. Alright guys, so that's what I have to show you for now. Um, again, if you guys want to go to these cams, just go on Google, type in SDO, and the first link that pops up is the link that will show you the most updated versions of all these cameras. There's a bunch of them. And that's it for now, guys. Keep your eyes open, and that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.